Welcome to the first episode of How's Handiwork. <laughs> I'm Hal, and this is my handiwork. Uh, these are custom Marvel Legend figures that I have been working on for the last uh, few months. And these are for my personal collection. They're not for commission or anything like that. Um, but they are for a, a kind of like a fan fiction that I have decided to, to write. And the figures are just, the, these are my uh, first attempts at customizing figures. My first thing that I decided to make was was this, uh, this Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts. If anyone's ever seen uh, Kingdom Hearts, this is Terra's Keyblade, uh, Ends of the Earth. And how I decided to make this was it took polymer clay of two different colors, a brownish, goldish color for up here, and then a blue color here and I took a metal rod and then I wrapped after sculpting the pieces I put the blue here and then the brown here and, and sculpted it and then baked it in the oven because it's polymer clay and then after that I took a sander and a, a dremel and cleaned up the perimeter of different uh, uh, different bits of it and then I took epoxy clay and rebuilt up some of the pieces that I had over uh, overshaved and overdone. And then I took uh, Citadel paints. It's a acrylic paint. And I put the Citadel paints over top of the, most of the brown part. I haven't really touched so much the, the blue kind of handle. And that's the first keyblade that I've made. And then my next attempt at any kind of figure was this figure here. Uh, if anyone recognizes it, maybe. This is a Marvel Legends silk figure uh, that I took Citadel paints and painted it brown and then reds at the tips uh, and did a little bit of customization of the face. I added highlight or uh, some smoky eyeshadow along the face, a little mole, changed the lipstick a little bit uh, just to make it more, you know, more like the person I wanted it to make it uh, look like. And then if anyone else has seen the Marvel Legends silk figure, the costume came with a sort of like a cloth kind of fabric over top of the breast. So I shaved them down with a Dremel and then rebuilt them back up using epoxy clay so that they, you know, there's cleavage and, and all the other good fun stuff. Uh, I built some epoxy on top of the legs so that they lay more flush and more uh, just bare with the whole figure themselves. It can't move back, it's hindered a little bit through the articulation, but they couldn't really move back anyway. Uh, and then it had a little pouch for the stomach, so I put a little bit of epoxy and that way I could make the stomach lay a little flatter and then took two different types of sandpaper, one of, one more of a, I'll just shave it down and one that uses to polish it out, about a 2,000 or 3,000 grit uh, sandpaper to smooth it out and then sprayed it with clear coat uh, matte spray and uh, I'm still working on the actual uh, paint job to and that'll be a, a finished, or that'll be an update video. And then a second video, or a second figure is my figure that I'm personally doing. This is a Thor of the Dark Worlds figure, which it took some Citadel paints and did the hair, some of the face, did the eyes again. Uh, and then I took some epoxy and built this all armor up that I haven't quite finished painting yet. Uh, built the armor here, built some pads here on the side, and then built the arm gauntlet type thing. Uh, swapped out one of the hands for a uh, for this the, the new Spider-Man PS4 uh, grip hand, because it's the best grip of the hand that I found. Uh, did some just different work. Uh, updated the paint, and then put some black wash over top of some of the rest of the armor, and then the uh, chain sort of ma male skin or whatever. And then I'm going to finish painting them, and that'll be an updated video here to f see the, the finished product of this. And then one, the only figure that I have actually finished is actually my newest project, because I kind of skipped it trying to get some Citadel paints in. Uh, this was a uh, Marvel Legend with the three pack. Uh, Thor, Groot, and Rocket Raccoon, and I made this into a different character from my uh, uh, fan 
fan fiction. I took a face from a previous Star Lord figure, and then I uh, took a Dremel and shaved off a lot of the hair to refix it, uh, refit it to how I wanted to look, and then went over it with a brown wash. And then I took a Dremel and took the beard off of the face, uh, the figure. Took the entire beard off, and I added some dark lines here using uh, watercolor pencils and just redid the whole facial structure, uh, redid the eyes, re I, just, I redid the whole thing, I, I completely changed it. And then uh, obviously took off the lightning bolts that were on the figure originally and I put some white highlights. Uh, also added some red to the pants and then a black wash over top of these to make these uh, the dark red color. Um, with the arms, if anyone has seen this figure uh, without uh, context, the arms were actually ridiculously long. They almost came down to the knees. So I took uh, an X-Acto knife at this point here where the cuff of the armband comes in here. I cut it, and then I took a Dremel and shaved this whole uh, a good portion of this armband down, and then uh, put a little metal rod into this piece, into this piece, put it together, and glued it. You know, and that way it has some support on the inside, as well as uh, being shorter like it should be. So this is the first completed custom that I have. I've, uh, the white Citadel paint that I have here is a little splotchy, so what I'm probably going to have to go do is actually go through with black and touch up these white smudge marks that have gone everywhere. Uh, so it's, I guess it's not really finished just yet, uh, but this is the, I guess, farthest along that any of them are. So I'm going to have, my plan is to have uh, a figure for myself, a figure for my girlfriend, some of my friends, and then some of the other people here in broad culture, uh, as well as have our own individual keyblades or different types of weapons, and have like a little, little team. And so that'll be a future update video. I'm Hal, and this is uh, Hal's Handiworks Handjobs. <laughs> uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, something like that. Peace.